We play and call it work. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Welcome Wargamers to the Chaos Army that I have in this portion of the overall Chaos series, the Chaos Army series. We're going to be focusing on Chaos Undivided, my first love of Chaos. That's the very first one that I fielded when I got my Chaos Space Marines Global Starter Set, the one with Defi in it, the one with the five chosen, the ten regular Chaos Space Marines, the Corn Berserkers, the Rhino. That was the first set that I ever started collecting, and this is the one that we're going to be focusing on in this video. I'll be sharing how many points exactly of the 80,000 points of Chaos that I have. I'll be segregating that. We'll be focusing on those and the models that I have and why I like this portion, especially this portion of my army. What you're looking at in the middle there is 19,987 points of Chaos Undivided. On the far side there to the right, upper right, and uh, middle right, the right portion. All the models you see that are smaller. That's the other part of the Chaos Undivided Army that you see. And also here, and behind the door, just along the wall, those models are Chaos Undivided. Let's start with the leaders of the army here. We got Abaddon the Despoiler. There are three different models that I have for him. One is converted up, right in the middle there with the red cape. I, I use that most often. Then there's the one on the left, um, very nicely painted. The one on the right, that came with an army, another army. Uh, so I have three, and I typically use the two on the left. I've never actually used the one on the right, but I do have it as part of the army, just because in case one of the other ones gets sick, they want to come in. As for the other HQs, we have Huron Blackhearts, and then we have one, two, three, four Warpsmiths. We got a Chaos Lord in Terminator armor, another Chaos Lord with Lightning Claw Jump Pack, another Chaos Lord with regular armor, and then a couple Cypher models. Then we have this very beautifully painted Chaos model. He has a Chaos Undivided model, he's carrying that banner. He, I, I, I bring him in as a Chaos Lord just because of how beautiful he is. And then we got a Sorcerer and then Fabius Bile beside him. And a bunch more Chaos Lords. Out of these, my favorite one out of these is this one right there. That was a special gift from a good friend. His name is, watch this, Dean Pritchard. You like that? See what I did there? I picked it up, remembered his name from the tactile touch of this dual-wielding Chaos Lord because he's got claws and an axe. It was actually kind of illegal. But he's Mark Dave to have whatever you want him to have. I've got 98 Chaos Space Marines, Black Legion Chaos Space Marines, all with varying war gear. 30 Raptors and 20 Warp Talons. 16 Terminators. 3 Obliterators. 6 Mutilators. 16 Possessed. 33 Chosen. 15 Spawn. 273 cultists. Rhinos got 17 of those. Two predators, two vindicators. Six hell brutes. Three land raiders. Two mauler fiends, one forge fiend. Two defilers. Five soul grinders. Now they were all kind of calculated as part of chaos and divided. You could go, when I feel them, if there's a certain theme in the army, I have used the color-specific ones to match the theme. Not sure if you can see him, but we have Bellicor. He's hiding in there beside his big brother. Warhound in the back. I'm counting that as part of the Chaos and Divided Army. There aren't any other Chaos God-specific markings on him. And that is 19,987 points of Chaos Undivided. The thing I love about Chaos Undivided is that you can basically add anything to your core undivided army and it fits and it's allowed. For example, you can have a Chaos Undivided army and a squad of Corn Berserkers and that's totally allowable. Also, you can have a squad of Sorcerers or a squad of Plague Marines. It really doesn't matter. As long as the core is that 
Lore-wise, it works and it fits. Game-wise, it also works and fits. So that's what I love. I love how Chaos is so forgiving that they are accepting of all. And that's really how I look at it because that is very indicative of my core beliefs. I am accepting of all, except for Tao. And that's how I believe everyone should conduct themselves in their life. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me in this journey of showing off my Chaos Army. It's a lot of fun for me to do that, to show off this love that I have of this ha hobby and of this army that I love collecting. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into a battle report. That's right. We're gonna jump into all these points. We're gonna, you know what, I'm gonna roll randomly for them. I think that'd be the best way of doing it. What army, what, what units will I include in my list? We're gonna roll randomly for it. That, that, I think that's a fun practice. That's very chaotic and it's very, we'll, we'll see what we're gonna get. So that will be in the link in the video description below in the mini Wargaming Vault. If you are not a Vault member, I invite you to sign up for a seven day free trial to the mini Wargaming Vault so that you can see this battle of Chaos Undivided and see how it fares on the battlefield and it's all for funness and goodness purposes because how do they fare? Are they the strongest? No, they're not the strongest. Are they fun? Yes, they are incredibly fun. And really, at the end of the day, that's why I play. Thank you very much, and happy wargaming.